Welcome back to the talk. Now, a Conservative MP has quit his ministerial role because he claims he couldn't afford to repay his mortgage on the £118,000 salary. In a blog post, George Freeman, I didn't know him either, said he resigned as science minister after his mortgage payments had skyrocketed from 800 quid to £2,000 per month. The Mid-Norfolk MP warned that we're in danger of making politics something only hedge fund donors, young spin doctors and failed trade unionists can afford to do. It comes after mortgage rates soared following Liz Truss's mini-budget in September 2022, leaving homeowners facing steep increases in monthly repayments. MPs serving in the government are barred from taking on second jobs outside politics to, their supp to supplement their income. But Freeman is now free to do so as a backbencher. Um, so, Freeman, a free man, you might say mm -hmm. now. <laughs> More like uh, a free loader. You are very wrote that funny, myself. Jake. Thank you. Yeah. Um, he's out of touch massively. He earns two and a half mm. the average salary in the country already. Per month, his take home salary now is £6,100. Mm. The average in the country is 2,300, minimum wage, 1,470. Yeah. People, our viewers watching this, are gonna hear this man and think, what an absolute, I wish there was a beep button we could press for, for the expletive I wanna I want use for him. This is another example of an out of touch politician who has no idea what it's like for the average person in this country who would love to be earning that amount of money. And would be, would, would, would no one on 120,000 pounds from working class would be saying, no, that's not right. enough, mate. Why that's did right. he? That's not why enough. did he? Ed, you yeah. know a bit about <clears throat> politics. You, you <laughs> just, dabbled. Just a tad. You've uh, <laughs> you've been an elected representative. Dun, you've dun, been dun. a minister. Um, I, I mean, surely everything you do in that world, we now know. You have to think about. You know, how's this going to look? How's it going to sound? Can it be misinterpreted? <laughs> Will I drop a clangor without real? Blah blah blah. This didn't require much thought to think, hang on, I'm about to give an interview where I'm going to say I'm earning 120 grand a year and I can't pay my mortgage, which is two grand a month. And I'm not, you know, the greatest mathematician. Actually, I'm quite good at math. <laughs> but, um, but, I mean, that's 24,000 quid a year. It still leaves him, you know, nearly 100K to play around well, I think do it monthly. What was do it he... monthly, Ian. He's, got, he's paying two grand, he's using four grand a month to live on. Four grand a month to live on is more than enough for pretty much... Anyone. Correct. If you're an MP, you get... What was you he do, thinking? Dare I bring up expenses. You do get expenses. So he's not paying his train fare between London That's and very his true. constituency. Yep. Discounted uh, lunch. You do get invited mm. out to <coughs> lots of lunches mm -hmm. and dinners. You probably really don't need to buy any food. He's got grown-up children. Uh, it's just very odd that he would say this. I know George. I like him. He's very good. At, he's got a particular niche, which is life sciences and science yeah. and tech. He does overshare. Uh, and oh, uh, he clearly decided that the journalist he was talking to was his therapist. <laughs> 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 he just kind of let it all out in a way he Did might... Did he say it as an aside? It's the yeah. kind of thing... Look, MPs sit around the tea room and probably do, dare I say it, moan about whether or not they're well paid enough and how tough life is financially. And But the idea that you would say that to a journalist and instead well, say, is... oh, OK, I get it. Again, well, it's not going to happen. You, you no. can say it's oversharing, but I think it's indicative of, of, of a conversation we've been having nationally about the quality of our politicians. Mm. 50 years ago, you know, politicians were war veterans. They were you know, people that owned businesses that actually had to juggle uh, uh, far more complicated things in life than this. They, 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 they were members of the community. They were valued members of the community. And now you have these sort of propped up, uh, overpaid civil servants. I actually make the case a lot that we need to pay our politicians more because it's such an important job. But there are some politicians, <clears throat> I wouldn't pay 10p. Right? I say that we need like to pay food. our politicians... <clears throat> I, say, I say that we need to pay our politicians more because, <laughs> because you want to attract better people in politics. Okay. Not people that have the audacity to say that £120,000 a year is not enough to pay off a two grand a month mortgage. I'm yeah. sorry, it's insulting. It took me about three seconds to get that, which is why I'm so useless. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I'm well, I slow. do think that when you look back at politicians, you know when we talk about the, sort of the heavyweights, they're all from a certain era and they all almost all of them had jobs before they went into yeah. politics. They had jobs, they had, they uh, admittedly, they had I tell you what, the only, the only difference between them, of course, is the fact that actually it was easier to buy a house then. So it was, you know, not quite so, you know, in terms of, of, the, of paying back the mortgage, it wasn't quite so punitive. But the point is, if you come from a position where, you know, you've worked as a, as a steward on a on a boat, or you've done whatever. John you've Prescott. Do I was yes, of course. So I mean, but I'm just thinking. No, about, I just I really, I Penny. Of... I know I've been accused of talking over you once on the show already. But you have. To... I really can't.
can't take this. Anymore. No, all I was this going to say was, nonsense. can I just finish like, the sentence no, then? Because, because yes, I can. We've... I can. <laughs> because all I was going to say was they all had jobs beforehand in the real life. So that in, in the real life, in real life. So they actually were in touch with real people well, instead so of being in the Westminster bubble. Politicians. Let what me tell planet you, are you let, living I'm on? I'm going to about to tell you about the in the real life planet that Penny's banking <laughs> on. <about. laughs> okay. I've got Johnny Mercer, the veterans minister. <laughs> what yeah, a he that's he was one, a yeah. commando in Iraq. You can't win. Rishi Sunak was a very successful banker and made a lot of money, and people hate him for it. You've got mm. Jeremy Hunt started his own business. Boy, did he let us know about that when he was running uh, for the leadership. You know, you've yeah. got quite a lot of very talented politicians. Just to, and you had moronic politicians 50 years ago and talented politicians 50 years ago. And guess what? We've got the same mix today. No, we don't. No, there it is. Is. <laughs> All right, all right. You're yeah, grumpy yeah, yeah. old men okay. in a cup. Okay. That's okay. what you're yeah, yeah. up, time for Should be said, by the way, John, John Prescott wasn't the only bastard we've seen in uh, Parliament, of course, <laughs> oh. in recent years. <laughs>